Hello, I'm Berkeley Lim Ketkai. Today we have Joseph Bolada, the editor of the recently published guidebook on enteral medication administration. So Joseph, I read your book with great interest. What inspired you to develop it? Great question. I'm not sure if it was inspiration, uh, exasperation. <laughs> um, it, it actually started probably in the mid-1990s, believe it or not. Um, it was a patient-related issues where uh, we weren't really sure how to give medications through a feeding tube, and I found myself having to rediscover with every new drug, and there was no readily accessible source for, for this information. Um, no one else seemed to be concerned about it the way I was, yet over the ensuing years, more and more people would call me for, for information, and I said, we need to have a resource. Nobody was putting this together. I figured no one else is going to do it. Perhaps I, I should. Um, and Aspen, uh, you know, uh, obliged and is uh, able to publish this. Sounds great. And who do you feel is the audience for this guidebook? Another good question. So it's really meant for any healthcare professional that manages patients with a um, enteral access device, with a feeding tube. Um, so you might think that it's solely for pharmacists or maybe for, for nurses, but um, definitely for dietitians and the prescribers as well. Um, there's quite a bit of information in there on, on drug-nutrition interactions, which I think others would find um, helpful as well. And then in the, in the U.S. market, how do you feel this is different from any other similar books? Well, if there were a similar book, I wouldn't have had to put this together. Uh, so, I mean... To be honest, it, it, um, there are some other sources of this information, but no one's been able to, to pull this all um, together in one, one resource. Uh, there, there's a, a book overseas that uh, attempts to do this, and they've done a nice job with, with that product, but I think this is really the only one in the U.S. Um, that's pulled all this information. There's foundational science, and then there are these monographs on the specific drugs um, to be helpful for prescribers, for pharmacists, for, for nurses, and even for dietitians. And specifically, how do you feel this would improve or help uh, patient care? Well, hopefully. <laughs> so this is really right where the, the inspiration or exasperation came from, um, that based on even some, some data that we have, that, that close to six out of every 10 medications that are given through a feeding tube are associated with errors. So people are either not prescribing it correctly or not preparing it or not administering it correctly. So hopefully with the use of, of this um, this product that um, more and more patients will have their medications administered uh, more safely. Um, so that's, that's the, the direct purpose. Um, certainly it will help the prescriber, it will help the pharmacist, it will help the nurse and dietitian doing their, their role, but ultimately it's for, uh, for patient safety. Those are quite scary statistics. Now, is there a role for it in the education of the clinicians themselves? Uh, yes, I, I, I believe so. The, um, the book, which I don't know if you've seen the book, but um, is actually divided up into to two parts. The, the first part actually contains a number of chapters. So there's some very foundational science, which I think would be uh, very relevant in, um, for the pharmacy curriculum. Um, the remainder of the book are these, the, the monographs of many, many um, different drugs. And I can see its use um, both in nursing education, even in dietetics education. Um, nursing, whether it's entry level or advanced practice nurses, um, simulation labs, all these things where they, they would be able to have a, a resource to, to refer to. And for the dietetics um, uh, students as well, in terms of drug nutrition interactions, uh, provides quite a bit of data on, on that. That sounds wonderful. Now with the new enteral delivery systems with ENFIT, is that considered and why do you feel that's important to dis discuss with medication delivery? Well, we're at the point in time now where we're switching to the, the new um, NFIT devices, the ISO uh, standard, and people are making changes, um, and we actually have chapter number one actually addresses the, the enteral feeding tubes and discusses that as well, uh, including issues of uh, you know, different size syringes for, uh, for different dosing. Um, so, so, so that's in there um, and will be, um, I think, very useful for uh, really for all uh, healthcare uh, providers to, to look through that. That's fascinating, Joseph. So how can I get a hold of that book? Well, you can't have mine, but you can go right to the, um, the Aspen Bookstore, so you'll be able to, to uh, get it there. Okay, sounds great. Well, thank you very much for your time today. Certainly. Thank you, Mark.